What is going on everybody? Beast HD here and today I just have a really quick tutorial here in Photoshop CS6 and I'm basically just going to show you guys how to make 3D text without using the extrude 3D option and the reason for this is because I got a lot of comments on some of my videos saying that people do not have the extrude 3D option and the reason for this is because your computer needs to be quite fast for it to handle the extrude 3D function in Photoshop so basically if your computer isn't fast enough then you will not have that um, option of extruding your text into 3D but anyways this way you do not need to use that extrude 3D option and this is really easy to do and you can see here that it gives you a very nice looking 3D text so basically, if your computer is quite slow and you do not have the extrude 3D option, you'll still be able to have really cool 3D text in your projects. So to, to do this, I'm just going to go to File and then open up a new template. Make it whatever size you want. Um, I'm just having it 1280 by 1080 for this purpose here. So we're just going to hit our text tool, type out your text box, and you can use basically whatever font you want to do this in. So... Um, just type out whatever you want and I'm going to make this a little bit bigger and then put your cursor in between two letters hold alt on the keyboard and just tap the right arrow to space the letters out a little bit so cursor in between two letters tap the right arrow while holding alt just spaces out the letters a tiny bit so uh, you'll be able to see the 3D in between the letters a lot clearer and uh, once we have that done come over to your uh, text layer over here just right click on it Go to blending options we're going to come down here and select stroke and then double click into stroke and bring your size up to around about 10 maybe 15 yeah so bring your size of the stroke up to about 15 then just click ok then we're going to go back down to that text layer just right click on it once again hit duplicate layer then hit ok then make sure you're on your move tool and then just drag the layer either up or down a little bit depending on where you want your uh, 3D to be. If you want your 3D to be down the bottom then bring the text up and if you want the 3D to be at the top then bring the text down a little bit. And then just tap the uh, up arrow just to move the text or just to move the uh, word up a little bit until you can see the two black lines kind of meet each other and it looks nice and cool. Then once again we're going to go right click duplicate layer. And then hit OK. And then once again, we're going to move the text down a little bit. Tap the up arrow just so we can resize it into the perfect position. And then once again, right click, hit duplicate layer, hit OK. And then we're going to right click on that new layer. And then we're going to go to blending options. And then go to outer glow. Uh, just click on outer glow. And then we're going to double click into outer glow and your blend mode just select your blend mode make sure your blend mode is on normal uh, change the color here to black or depending on whatever um, color you want your 3d to be then have your opacity up to 100 and um, your noise i'll sort that out in a minute your spread will be at one if i can get it there size um size up to about 120 ish and then your jitter bring that up to the very top bring jitter up to 100% and range uh, we are going to bring up to 100% as well and then just hit ok and then once again we can move this down a tiny bit and then tapping the up arrow key and I'm also going to move this to the left a little bit like so and you can keep playing around with this until you get the perfect 3D uh, depending on how like thick you want your 3D to look, you can just keep right clicking on one of the layers, hitting duplicate layer, then hit OK, and then move it down a tiny bit. Oh god, I'm on the wrong layer, sorry about that. Oh no, I'm not. So yeah, just keep making new layers and you can basically just make it as thick as you want the 3D to be. You can just keep going and keep making it thicker and thicker if you would like. So that's basically just a really easy way of having 3D text without actually needing to use the extrude to 3D function in Photoshop. So I really hope you enjoyed. If you did, please do leave a like on this video and um, leave a comment if you would like to know how to make anything in Photoshop. So uh, yeah, thanks a lot for watching and I will see you guys later. Bye bye.